Welcome, my dudes, my doggies, and my gazeboys to the Gazebo Only Zone. I am your host, Ethan Klein. I am sick as a dog. <laughs> this is my beautiful pregnant wife who I love and adore. She's the angel of my life and the light of my life. She's everything that I've ever hoped to find in a partner and so much more. Hila Klein. <laughs> I am so sick. I'm delirious. I'm out of it. You know, you're still embarrassed by my introduction, I see. Yeah. But it's true. It's all true. And so well, much more. Thank you. I am so sick. I am <clears throat> completely out of it. Yes. I've been pumped with all the quills, the day quills, <laughs> the night quills, the uh, twilight quills. What do you get when you combine night quill and day quill? I'm in the twilight quill right now. Mm-hmm. And um, Is there a weekend quill? Oh, hell, yeah, <laughs> after today, I'm going to be weekend quilled out. Oh, and thank you to our sponsors, Audible, MeUndies, LinkedIn. Almost forgot about those great dudes. Um, I am so out of it, so this is going to be a roller coaster ride, guys. Thank you for joining us on this beautiful, blessed Friday. Oh, Friday, don't we all love it so much? Yes, I'm happy to share this special day with you all. Um, we had Tom Segura and Christina P, two of my favorite people on the planet, who were scheduled to be here on Wednesday. I yeah. was sick, unfortunately. We're going to get him back on here soon, but I love those guys. Went to Disney yesterday with my family, which made my illness worse. <laughs> so, um, but you know what? That's enough about what's going on in my life. Let's get to the science of why we're all here today. <laughs> Last week, and it's been part of the show mythology, I would say, is th- we have these Twitter polls, which really illuminate, I would say, some of the darker parts of our society. Not dark in the sense of being te- um, being unethical or something no. to be feared, but un uh, undark Just and, a little uh, shame. As in, in the shadows, you know? In the shadows and that it hasn't yet been uncovered or looked at. Yeah, we are we are great searchers. We are just great discoverers. We are. You know, all the pranksters do like social experiments. This is real shit. Real social experiment, dude. I wouldn't be surprised to see some of these Twitter polls being quoted in such (laughs) reputable articles as Wikipedia. (laughs) So we had one last week about: Do you smell on your hand and (laughs) you fart on your hand and smell it? I'm so out of it. (laughs) <laughs> do you fart on your hand and smell it? So first we did, do you like the smell of your own farts? And most overwhelming, yes. obviously, yes. And there were some nature And I hairs. still don't understand it. Like, I got kind of upset because I feel like you're kidding. But you're saying that you're serious. But well, I feel the, like you're kidding. Well, the poll speaks for itself, Gila. <laughs> so first of all, there was some disbelief that people like the smell of their own farts. But then we took it a step further. We said, do you fart on your hand and smell it? And most of the people in here, except for Zach, who's the only honest being here, was like, "What is wrong <laughs> with you?" They honest. say, "They say, Ethan, you are a, you shouldn't exist." They say to me. <laughs> so let's go to this poll because this was a prolific vote. I would say this was a paramount <laughs> benchmark vote. We took place here. Have you ever smart farted on your hand and smelled it? A hundred and twenty-four thousand votes. <laughs> That is a huge number, and let me say, 51% yes. Mm-hmm. And after this poll, I bet you it's going to go even higher. We even saw a couple on, <laughs> um, when we were at Disneyland, and the guy had to tell me yeah. that he does it too. Yeah. And Next I to said, his girlfriend. And I said, can I smell your hand? <laughs> I, let him sniff, I sniffed his hand. <laughs> he had a turkey leg in it. Oh. <laughs> and it was a fart and a turkey leg. <laughs> It was a great time we had there at Disneyland. Um, um, so there you have it, guys. This is science. This is real science we're doing here on the HP <laughs> podcast. Um, but then, so I got an email from a fan, uh, podcast at h 3 com, and she blew my ass out with a new one she wanted to broach with us. Uh-huh. So let me read this email from Autumn. Autumn G. Hello, Ethan and Ela. Lately on the show, you guys have been talking about your gross habits, and Ela almost every time has said she does not share these strange routines. So as an Ela Kleiner, I admit when I'm on my cycle, I will often smell my blood. Nope. Sometimes I find it satisfying, and sometimes I find it gross. Lately, my blood has smelled similar to red wine, and I've never 
smelled my blood when it's in a... <laughs> oh, she says, and I never smell my blood when it's in a tampon. Well, how does she smell it then? So, I hate the smell, and that is why I usually prefer to wear a tampon, because I feel like you don't smell it as much. But how does she smell it? You Just if, from the toilet? If you wear, like, a pad... Yeah. Oh, then you take it off and it's kind of like a wa- it's like a strong odor. And I hate it. What does it smell like? Gross. Like body odor or like blood? Both, I guess. Ew. Like gross. it's like stank. It's gross. Whoa. That's <laughs> I hate fu- it. <laughs> See, as men, I think all the men listening to this are like, "Wow, this I is know, new." I know. This we're not supposed to talk about this. It's like the don't, ladies' pack. Don't, don't you break know the that pack. Girls don't poop. They don't fart, and they don't have and periods. Their periods stink. <laughs> Did y'all know that periods stink? (laughs) Fuck. I mean, what did you think? I never thought about odor Mm. being involved. I mean, I don't know. Maybe I'm not describing it right, but I find it gross. No, it sounds like you're right. I mean, she says herself, she sniffs her period blood, sometimes satisfying. Do you ever find it satisfying? I Always gross. Sometimes more gross than other times? If I smell it more. But you think it's all equally gross. Because she's saying sometimes it has extra stank. I guess that's possible. Hmm. I never felt like it smelled like red wine. (laughs) Does it have anything to do with the volume of blood that's in it? Probably. And does it have anything to do with when was the last time you changed your tampon? Like if how much body odor and sweat gets mixed in? I don't know. Hmm. It's fascinating (laughs) stuff, honestly. (laughs) Um, wow, this is new. <laughs> so you're saying that it uniformly always smells bad, and you even go so far as to wear tampons to avoid smelling it altogether. Yes. Mm. <laughs> so what I want to post to our female listeners today is, um, do you ever smell your period blood? So we are going to make a Twitter <laughs> poll. Dan, you've got the finger Just on the trigger. It. Yep. For ladies only, head on over to H3 Podcast on Twitter <laughs> if you're a lady and cast your vote. Do you ever smell your period blood? Now, these are fully anonymous votes, so you don't have to worry about being outed or being discovered or <laughs> anyone knowing about your disgusting habits, which we all have, so not to worry. But I am truly fascinated by this period blood smell. It's a new concept. It's a paradigm shift to my understanding of periods. <laughs> How was the early voting? I'm very curious. Uh, so my initial refresh, 53 votes, and it's about 50-50. It's 49-51 right now. Whoa. Yeah. I had a feeling it would be like Is that. any vote we're going to take going to be 50-50? Mm. Was there ever no. like... No. Yeah, of course. No, there's been huge swings. There's been huge swings. I feel like it's always 50-50. We've had 70-30s and... Yeah? Yeah. We had a 60-40 with the front wiping fiasco, mm. remember? <laughs> No, that's what I thought it would be. I think it would be, I expected that. Because I, if I'm a woman and I have stinky periods, I'm smelling it. Because I'm already saying I smell it my farts. <laughs> yeah. No count's s- climbing in that, that 50-50 <laughs> ratio is holding, it's holding steady. I would think that I would be smelling my period blood. You think so? Yeah, I would be. Because I scratch my balls and smell my hand. Yeah, I think there's you're going to be smelling it. I think there's just two type of people in the world. <laughs> I think so. Probably. The people who, like, are in denial, like me. Yeah, you're in... I, I do think that's true, Eula. <laughs> yeah. Because it sounds no, I like... I don't want it to be true. Because so. it sounds <laughs> like you do it. smell your period blood. You're aware of the smell. And I hate it. I know, but you... But at, on some level, you still do smell and assess it and make some analysis of it. The fact is that you're in denial and you don't embrace it as something, you know, that you can get into on a personal <laughs> level. Right. I don't know. I'm happy that I got nine months right now. No period. Without it. Yeah. But then it's almost like the baby is almost like the nine months of period, like (laughs) stored up, and it's just like. (laughs) So it's like a break and then a burst. Yeah. I'll be. Oh, you think you got something good going on? Just wait. (laughs) But at least it has a happy ending. Yeah. Periods don't necessarily have happy endings, except that they're over. I'll be right there with you. I have, I tell you, I have so much admiration. I have so much respect for the fact that you have to go through that. And I am not jealous of that at all. I am truly appreciative that, yeah. that you need to do that because, I'm my God. I'm not jealous of myself. No, I know. I know. 
That's another thing I'm in denial about. That, that has to happen. Yeah. Well, it's really just something that's like, oh, the baby's coming. Let's just do it. You just have to do it. You just have to do it. But you're going to get drugged and you're, you're yeah. going to be smart about it and just not feel anything. Because a lot of women are like, I want to do it natural. Mm -hmm. And then halfway through when they're in excruciating pain, they're like, give me anything. Depending. My sister is crazy. She, she was like, no painkillers. And she, she really didn't take anything throughout. Well, your, your sister's a superhuman. Yeah. She's a freak of nature. <laughs> but in your case, because the, the reason women don't but take I it do is because it can take longer, right? When yeah. You have a painkiller. People are afraid that you, because you're numb, you won't push hard as much as you would if you're not I numb prefer, on the painkiller. From my perspective, to not feel pain and have it take an extra five hours. Well, five hours is a Well, lot. I'm just saying, that's an uh, exaggerated <laughs> comparison, but yeah. I think that you'll be. But I agree with you. I'll be, you know I what I'm saying? You don't want to. Yeah, trust me. Trust <laughs> me, a guy that knows nothing about it. <laughs> I have a friend who was like, I don't want it. And then halfway through, she decided she wanted it. But then it took longer because they didn't have it prepared for her. <laughs> oh, man. And the whole time she was just like, give me the painkiller. So when you get the painkiller, is it like no pain, like total numbness? No. It's I probably helped a so. lot. Though. I think it helps, but I, I don't think... Because when I, I had a... Um, I don't know. I had a huge mole removed on my back as a kid. Um, I think I must have been, I don't even know, 12 or 11. But um, it was a really big surgery where they cut it out. And um, when they gave me numbing shots, it was extre extremely painful. Mm. It was so painful, these shots. I was this, surprised because it was just a shot. I think this one is also painful. But I felt nothing, mm. like zero sensation, and I was awake. But the whole I time. think I think you're already in so much pain from the, uh, what do you call it? Contraptions. Oh, the contraptions. Yeah. So I think the pain of that shot Contra is like nothing. Yeah. Compared, contractions. Yeah. So I think. I think they have amazing medicines that I think will really minimize the pain you experience. But the thing is, like, when I had the surgery on my back, so I felt no pain at all. But then when they finished, they had to sew me up, and the doctor had to cut. cut, cut I, what do you call that when you electrocute it? Cater, cut, cauterize. Or, cauterize. Mm. He had to cauterize my flesh together. So he basically, he literally, like, burned <laughs> yeah. my flesh together, yeah. and that was fucking... It wasn't pain. I couldn't feel the pain, but it felt well, so weird because I was being electrocuted. <laughs> How'd that smell? That's crazy. I didn't smell flesh. I just felt mm. it was just a, a wild sensation, dude. But um, yeah. So there's a couple people who responded. I do, and I secretly think it smells okay. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Exactly. I don't think exactly. I think this is a, a very interesting and healthy discussion, guys. As Let's... of this moment, it's actually exactly fifty-fifty. And then there's, <coughs> I'm not sure what to choose, but you can't avoid smelling it, but it's still gross. Hmm. So there you go. I think there really are two types of people in the world, <laughs> you know. And I think that now was, it's exactly fifty. I think that's what it boils down to, you know, people who are in denial, as you said, in <laughs> yeah. defense, and people that are like, "I'm on board with smelling my period blood." <laughs> yeah. And my, I bet you the same people that smell their fear, period bloods also smell their farts, and they probably yeah. itch their vagina and smell their hand. Okay. Probably. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> you know. Um. All right. Well, fascinating stuff here, guys. This is a science experience. What a science experience. Beautiful beginning. Fascinating. Yeah, I love it. Um, what else we got here? Oh, another fan submission. This was the best freaking video I've seen in such a long time, you guys. Oh, my God. <laughs> Talk about TLC. We've been talking about TLC a lot. I haven't seen this yet, so I'm excited. <laughs> so this comes from Discovery. Oh. And um, it's a re- editor. Yeah, yeah, I know. They're like, hang on, guys, we gotta stop making. Wait, Planet Earth? No, 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 no. fucking cancel that. We're working on a new show, show called Diagnose This, okay. or Diagnose Me, and we're gonna do epic reenactments of these of these uh, diseases. Now, this guy Ron suffers from ceaseless belching and co he's, he cannot stop burping. He, really? he cannot stop burping, and they reenact oh. it, and oh my god. <laughs> this is from Devin Mears, so God bless you. 
Um, this is the best thing I've seen in so long. <laughs> it's incredible, you know. <laughs> Before his condition began, it's kind of scratchy. You hear that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Here, uh, I think I might know what's up. Hold on one sec. We're all set up here, very professional, always prepared, <laughs> and very live. <laughs> That's right, folks. How you feeling? You feeling pregnant? I feel really tired, and I think that's part of this yeah. stage. How was Disney for you yesterday as a pregnant lady? I couldn't go on all the fun rides. Yeah, so I felt I was bad. already like a boring mom. I felt so bad for you as I rode all the awesome rides. And... <laughs> <laughs> I was tired. Oh, he fixed it. Yeah. I'm he already went. lame. Yeah, you're not lame. It's not your fault. You're amazing. You have a fucking you're you're growing a human body in your stomach. That's as amazing as a guest. It's pretty cool. Yeah, you're not lame. You're freaking awesome. All right, here we go. <coughs> His wife Sue. Have a good day. Recently, he had started his own business. That's love, baby. With this like how do you look? And horse I was just working on growing my business. Look at this okay. dumb dumb. This is the reenactment. Good as new. That gives you any more problems. I was confused. I was like, what am I watching? <laughs> what? So the burping sound is insane. It's always like, Bruh. and um, what? <laughs> what I soon learned is that the burping sound bite they use is a sound bite from the actual guy. It is. So he's actually. So what they're doing is playing the actual burp what? from the guy every time. They and, say that? No, you could tell because they show one brief clip oh. of the actual guy burping. And so they use that one sound bite and they use it every time in this reenactment. And it sounds, it's the same sound oh bite. Oh my God. It's, it's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, I'm sorry, ma'am. It started gradually. <laughs> so dramatic. And he's so like, it's like you just burped. Yeah. It's, I, and he's always like, <sighs> Oh, I'm so sorry, ma'am. <laughs> but he's sad. <laughs> I would be able to control it, you know, when I was at the customer's house. And then when I went outside the real to the truck, mm. I'd just belch and belch and belch until go. I got the pressure off of me. <laughs> Jeez. It seemed crazy. I love this guy. Ron's belching. <laughs> I was going to up. I'm sorry, babe. I can't help it. I belched for maybe 20, 30 minutes. <laughs> then I would not belch for Sounds maybe like an hour and then it'd start up again. <laughs> like sleep. But what I don't understand is why do you have to burp so loud? Just close your mouth. <laughs> well, you don't have to burp loud. I don't think you can control it. That's. <laughs> 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 There's a show about it. I don't think you can control it. Well, he's burping a lot, but sh I mean, you could control how loud you burp. You can go, or you can be like, not always. Really? I've never heard you burp. What do you know about it? I see people burp. But you burp quietly, right? Because you're a lady. I don't burp. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> 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 At least one of us should sleep. You know, go I love that line. Porch. At least one of us should sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Look at his face. It's like he can't be part of society. <laughs> Look at his face, dude. Shut up! my neighbors up. Shut up! He literally said he wakes his neighbors up. After a series of tests, his doctor has ruled out a bowel obstruction and suggests it's all in Ron's head. Stop thinking about it so much. <laughs> Give me a break. You can't eat. Oh, oh, this shot is so sleep. dramatic. <laughs> what are you supposed to do? You like know? the angle. Ron has been belching nonstop for months. <laughs> no one has been Here. able to figure out. <laughs> that's it. Because <laughs> that's that's a burp. I've never heard a burp like yeah. that in my life, and so yeah. it has to be they're using that sound bite. <laughs> Going to dozens of doctors, the one cure that seems yeah, to work just stopped out. working. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that face. Vengeance. Look at this reaction. That seemed to work, just stopped working. <laughs> Belching had come back with a vengeance. <laughs> Leaving Ron so desperate, he wants to kill himself. And then oh there. Oh my god, he wants to kill himself? Well, he. It's yeah. just a burp. No, I know. I feel bad for the guy, but like, 
they do this sound editing where they'll take the sound bite burp like here and then they'll like dampen it so it seems like he's far away but they're just using the same sound bite <laughs> Ron's so <laughs> desperate he wants to kill himself can I walk out the show one of these is like cars? not helping him. Stand it all? <laughs> <laughs> no, they're making him look like a kook. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like he's uh, all the time just <laughs> turning into a wolf. It's like a Stephen <laughs> King novel, but yeah, he's like a werewolf. <laughs> what is happening to me? Do <laughs> 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 finds out what's going on. She panics and calls 911. <laughs> They brought me to the emergency room. They looked over my records. They said, there's nothing we can do for you. Look Ron's at this guy. case is assigned to mental health counselor Lisa Gussin. <laughs> right this way? Her questions open up a deep reservoir angles. of pent-up anxiety. Also, he does this. <laughs> the actor, when he burped. I didn't see the guy do that. He just fit every criteria for anxiety and depression. He he fit it. By the way, it turns out he needed an antidepressant. Really? And he was manifesting anxiety in wow. an unusual way. And he's cured now. From, I believe it. You do? <laughs> I do. Well, it's on Discovery. It can't be wrong. <laughs> they wouldn't lie to us. <laughs> Hit me with that sound bite, Zach. <laughs> That's the burp. <laughs> The first that time I saw this, I wish I could watch the first time with you guys because the first time I saw this, I was just. Ethan was like crying. He was like, I was sorry. That song was so good. <laughs> so fun. To the T. Look at that. She diagnoses Ron with a He's like, form of look at this, the way they edit it. It's like. He does this. <laughs> like. He's burping like a thousand times a day and he's surprised every time it happens. <laughs> disorder combined with clinical depression mm, I have Anxiety. both of those things where I don't burp <laughs> I guess I got other problems it stimulates the brain in a certain area I love that that That's video amazing freaking gem my dudes so shout out Wow I'm having a lot of fun here that's, on the a, HP podcast, that's a great suggestion um, Dan what's the pull at uh, let's take a look we've got refreshing uh, forty nine fifty one, man. It, this this truly mm -hmm. is in another... favor of what? Well, the yes is going down. Yeah, actually, the yes is slightly down, but I mean, it's still oh, yes. a lot. It's, it's forty eight fifty two. Forty eight for yes, fifty two no. Oh, so no oh, is there. slightly edging. Out. So that makes it feel more realistic. Um, I feel like <laughs> the margin of error, though, like you got to say it, that that's a that's a split. Well, the pro so the problem is that you have to vote to see the results, and so a lot of dudes out there want to. Is that right? Uh, Want to yeah. see the results? Uh, it there. says ladies only, so I, I don't I know. think any dudes are voting. There's got it. I wish there was a way to view the results. I agree. I vote. It's so messed up. Oh, oh, you know what? You got to add a third option that says I'm a dude. Oh. So then it doesn't affect the frick. You Can know you what? Should we? It? Yeah. That's really no. Smart. Do a new one. Do a new one. Erase that one, Dan, and start over with a third option. I'm a dude. No vote. In parentheses. I am impressed with that. Thank you, Mila. <laughs> All right, I've been trying right. to say for many years that I'm a brilliant mind you should listen to me more because there's a couple guys here including Ian from Smosh what did he said, vote? well they said I'm a guy so this is sexist oh well do you smell your period blood Ian? do you smell Pam's period blood? <laughs> Elo, Elo, let me smell your period blood I don't want to I, like I want to? Yeah. I'm kidding okay I don't know anymore You're no, like, I'll smell it <laughs> See, I don't know if you're no, kidding or not. No, it's gotta be your own <laughs> excrement. I mean, you got a cookie live. <laughs> I'm so out of it. You got a cookie just straight on the table. Like, the, we have plates. I'm so fucking... <laughs> All right, the tweets, the tweets back up. Anybody that already voted, you gotta go back. You're obligated. You should leave a comment and explain why we reposted it. Why is your mic? Oh, because you're I'm in. trying not to chew the mic. I don't give a fuck. This is a I'm fucking sick and I don't give a shit episode. <laughs> the, Ian brought cookies. I'm like, Ian, every time I see donuts or cookies or something on the table, I'm like, who the fuck brought these? <laughs> I get angry as I eat them because I'm like, I don't need this shit. And it's always Ian. He's trying to feed me. It, oh. It is always Ian. I know. He's a feeder and I yell at him every time. I say, don't bring this shit here as I eat three of them. <laughs> you fucker. <laughs> 
Okay, we got a Dan, new Should we poll. go to a break or should we move on to the YouTube? Oh, okay. Copyright system is broken. It'd be pretty early for a break. How much I think, time? I think YouTube. Uh, t- we're at 24 minutes. So. Okay. You want right, to know about it. the new poll? Yeah. What is it? Is it a big difference? Well, I'm a dude is winning <laughs> by a lot. <laughs> well, that's so. no, okay. But, but if you remove that, we have yes, 28%. Yes, that, that's true. And no, 24 Oh, this is this is so important. This is such we, an important all thing. All of our social experiments are flawed. not valid. Fundamentally flawed. Invalid. Well, no, not all of them. Just gender specific ones. Which is like all of them. Not fart on your hand and smell it. That's the big one. Okay. Hila, <laughs> trying to throw out my science. I think it's only guys in my head. Um, <laughs> can I get another cookie? Those are incredible. <laughs> um, okay, I got something to complain about here. Everyone who likes to hear me complain about YouTube. This is just a fun little anecdote. So I got a claim. Oh, you actually brought me a cookie? <laughs> oh I didn't need that. <laughs> By the way, your dad just messaged me and to let you know that your mom delivered all of her babies naturally. Oh, yeah. Very My nice. mom's crazy. So I don't know if you could hear that Ethan's mom delivered all of her babies naturally, but I think that was just the time back then, isn't mm. it? I feel like my mom did, too. Probably. I feel like my mom would have a lot to say about this. She but. can call. She can call. It gives me more time to eat cookies. <laughs> I'm just trying to buy time to eat more cookies. These are insane. Ian, what the fuck's wrong with you? Um, all right, seriously, let me focus it. God, this, all, this is the worst episode we've ever done. <laughs> um, apologies to everybody. <laughs> um, so loud. Dude. All right, no, oh, am chewing. I really chewing that? Okay, <laughs> sorry. Sorry, 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 everybody. Sorry. Apologies. Oh, my apologies. God. All right. Here, I'm going to complain about YouTube, okay? Yay. <laughs> this is what you come here for. Papa John Mutiny, okay? This is a highlight. Claimed by whoever these cocksuckers are for a song, Sex on Fire. Okay. Here's an interesting little f- fact. We didn't use that song. It's not even in the clip. So I file a dispute, and there's not even an option for this, whatever you claimed, isn't even in my video. Mm-hmm. So you There's not even an option of like fuck off, right? So anyway, I I what I don't remember what I did. I think I did like. I think you just did like it's fair use or something. My my use is fair <laughs> or something. I, no, you didn't use it. I don't know what I did. How but, the hell would that even get in there? Well, I don't know what I did, but I just basically said in the description, this song did not appear in the video, so release your claim. And, um, so (coughs) here's the best part. These are these huge media companies that just go on rampages of claiming videos because there's no, um, there's no recourse. There's no accountability. They get free money. And they have no reason not to claim every single video. I've been waiting for one of these guys to just claim every single video on YouTube. <laughs> They're like, fuck, yeah. No, you use sex on fire. The way the law is written, there's, there's no recourse or, or <laughs> well, technically, punishment for a false claim? The, it's so broad. It says, um, in good faith. So, yeah, I mean, what, you could, what I mean? think that uh, a claim like this for something that's not even in the video isn't in good faith, but you're, you're bringing a lawsuit against a company for something so, you know, it's just, and there's no damages, it's like, it's mm-hmm. pointless, what do you, what are, you know what I'm saying? You would need to have like a huge class action lawsuit to show like tons of damage over yeah. like thousands of users it would be so complicated to actually but that would litigate be the only that way. so expensive and complicated to litigate that and they know it and as far as i'm aware they've never been held account- accountable for this shit here's the options um these are all, all these except for fair use i think or well most of them except for fair use are just like youtube's way of being like see you later idiot Here's what you get when you try to dispute it. I own the CD. That's YouTube being like, see ya. I think if you click that, they're like, you don't have a reason to. You don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. (laughs) I'm not selling the video or making any money. That's a skip. I gave credit in the video. That's a skip. Video is my original content and I own all the rights to it. So that one's fine. Um, I have a license or permission. That one's fine. 
meets fair use, that one's fine. Content is public domain. So th those ones are all fine, actually. Fine claims to make. So I don't remember which one I did, but <clears throat> their response is what really makes this powerful. Um, they responded by, I disputed it, and they responded by rejecting my dispute. Who is they? And they this huge media companies, yeah, I don't know. Not YouTube. I mean, no, not YouTube, yeah. this media company. I don't know what SPA, and all. there's like seven of them. So I said, hey, this is, your song's not even in the video. That's the first level, you dispute that. And then they came back, they rejected my dispute. And they said, eh, I don't fucking care. I'm keeping it. Sex on fire. I think so, the worst thing is that they accused us of using Kings of Leon. I didn't even know what that was. Yeah. It was some pop <laughs> song. I never, it's like, yeah. what? <clears throat> so I'm like, okay, that's insane. Um, the fact that they would dispute it. So now I am forced to go one step further in the process and at this point you basically say your song's not in the video leave me alone and they have the option to strike and remove the video so there's something wrong with youtube though because three of our last three videos have been claimed like the frequency of claiming videos and just erroneous really? and shameless claims have sky i mean Three of our last videos, and it, it feels like happen. there's like a bunch of new companies that have like a whole division that is just this. I think they're they just have new, claiming stuff. I think they have tools because you cannot go watch videos. They have some kind of automated tools yeah. that match it. In this case, it's wrong, and they don't even put in the effort to reviewing it. I mean, YouTube has got to regulate these people because mm -hmm. they're running amok right now. It has not been this bad ever. I don't think. Um, and then just to show you guys, where was the video of all of our demonetized videos, uh, Dan? The PDF? I don't see the PDF. I opened a tab of it. You should stop reading. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't, it's not, well, open a tab and you're on the desktop. Here, here it is again for you. That doesn't work. It doesn't work, Dan. All right, forget about it. You got to put it on my desktop next time. Um, so that's about it. I'll show this pic when we get back. This is the best episode we've ever done. <laughs> this is the one that we'll be remembered for. <laughs> so um, we will be back with that picture that you're promised. We've got a lot to talk about. Celebrity ASMR a bunch of amazing videos, Elon Musk is a weeb, and a call from GB ASMR, who has got the some channel choice. channel that we've talked about. She's got choice words for me. <laughs> She's got a beef with what I've said about ASMR, and we're going to squash that beef here today, or ramp it up. <laughs> you never know. So uh, stay tuned, y'all. There's so much more H3 Podcast after these messages. Thank you to Audible for supporting the H3 podcast. What would it look like if we all listened more? Listening to audiobooks motivates us, inspires us, and brings us closer together. For our audience, Audible is offering a free audiobook with a 30-day free trial. If you want to listen to it, Audible has got it. Just go to audible.com slash H3 podcast or text H3 podcast to 500, 500 and browse their unmatched selection of audio content. Start your 30 day trial, download an audiobook for free and start listening. It is that easy. My dudes, there is no better place to listen than audible because now audible members get even more exclusive audio fitness programs, audiobooks, audible originals and more. And now with audible originals, you can experience even more custom content made exclusively for Audible members. I'm going to recommend a book to y'all that I absolutely love. It's called The Subtle Art of Not Giving a Bleep, which is the F word, but it's bleeped out. Um, this is a this is an unorthodox motivational book because <laughs> yeah. there's been a whole kind of slew of like self-help gurus saying that positive thinking is the answer to improving our life. And this guy says, no, positive thinking is not only not the answer, it's the problem. What we need is to accept that we are all damaged, life isn't fair, and what we need more is to just stop giving a frick. 
It's hilarious. <laughs> it's raw. It's powerful. I highly recommend The Subtle Art of Not Giving a Bleep, and it's very well narrated, and it is available on Audible. <clears throat> Every month, <clears throat> as an Audible member, you get one credit good for any audio book you choose, plus two Audible originals from a changing selection you can't get anywhere else. Audible members also get access to audio fitness, health workout created exclusively for Audible. Plus, your books are yours to keep with Audible. You can go back and re listen anytime, even if you cancel your membership. Didn't like your audiobook? Exchange it, no questions asked. So, get started today with a 30 day trial, and your first audiobook is free. Go to audible.com slash H3 podcast or text H3 podcast to 500 500. That's a u d i b l e dot com slash h three podcast or text h three podcast to five hundred five hundred. Me undies, you all heard me obsess over the amazing colors and prints, but did you know they've got the most comfortable lounge pounds and tees? Finally, my dudes, just in time for winter. <laughs> this is the. This is like a one piece. This is like a man skirt. <laughs> what a little dick, Mark? I hope all y'all could see that. This is like you know how gir- girls wear skirts from top to bottom. Guys wear skir- skirts. Here, let me adjust my dick a little bit. Guys wear skirts from the bottom up. And this is just to prove to you how breathable and comfortable and incredible me undies is. This doesn't even hurt. This isn't even a wedgie that bothers me. I could go walk around in public like this and be perfectly happy and comfortable and warm. <laughs> These pants are unbelievable, okay? Now, let me tell you. <clears throat> me undies love celebrating fall season and Halloween prints. Check out the jack-o'-lantern prints, me undies socks, and bracelets. The best part is when you join me undies, you can get all this stuff, lounge pants, tees, undies, every gay damn thing for less than anyone else. Special member pricing is just one of the many perks of joining membership, my dudes. They are the softest underwear, plainly as to see. <clears throat> I got fun prints that I can match with socks or bralettes. 100% in fact, 100% satisfaction is guaranteed. You're going to love these things. It's an absolute guarantee. If not, send it back. It's risk-free. You get a refund. They burn it. They incinerate it. You get your money back. It's a win-win. <clears throat> Me and he's got a great offer for our, my listeners. 50% off and free shipping on your first purchase with Me Undies. It's a no-brainer. Look at this. <clears throat> Guys, it's a no-brainer. I'm sick. It's winter. When I'm home, I'm wearing these lounge pants, my dudes. So, for 50% off the most comfortable undies you will ever put on, go to MeUndies.com slash H3. That's MeUndies.com slash H3, 100%. The right people can make a huge freaking impact on your business, and that's why it's so important to find the right people. But where do you find those people? You could try posting on job boards, but let's, free, let's be frank with each other. Who's on job boards? Weirdos. All of them. Okay. <laughs> Instead, you need to find the person that can take your business to the next level. And where do you find those people? On LinkedIn. That's right. As the world's largest professional network, people go to LinkedIn every freaking day to grow professionally and discover job opportunities. 70% of the U.S. workforce is already there. What? That's insane. LinkedIn job matches people to your role based on more of who they really are, their skills, interests, and even how open they are to new opportunities. This way your job gets seen by more of the right people. Most LinkedIn members haven't recently visited top job boards, but 9 out of 10 of them are open to new opportunities. That means you're going to be stealing the best people from the best jobs because yours is even better. So, you can only reach them on LinkedIn. And that's why a new hire is made every 10 seconds using LinkedIn. Now. Now. New hires every 10 seconds. And business rate businesses rate LinkedIn 40% higher than job boards at delivering quality candidates. <laughs> Guys, if you're looking for the right employee, head and hurry on to LinkedIn.com slash kick ass and get $50 <laughs> off your first job post. That's LinkedIn.com slash kick ass. That's one word to get $50 off your first job post. LinkedIn.com slash kick ass. Terms and conditions apply. Welcome back, everybody, to the period blood smelling experience. <laughs> the uh, missing PDF I was trying to find for you guys. I just want to show you. YouTube's been on a crazy unmonetizing, just out of nowhere, your old shit. Look at this. I try to explain half of these. Prank invasion, a closer look. These horrible designs are unreal, crappy designs. Prank invasion starts World War Three. 
Is PewDiePie racist? Toy channels are ruining society. Crazy feminist triggered by Lyft driver. That title's so cringy. <laughs> <laughs> a crazy feminist gets triggered. Oh, that's so cringy, too. It's a different <laughs> time, wasn't it? <clears throat> Featuring Humongous. Dicks out for Harambe. Which is like a kid. I mean, I, it's like, k- k- give me a break. That video <clears throat> is demonetized. Like, yeah. All we just do, because it has an asterisk, I think. All it, we do is a face swap. No, it's the most wholesome Joey Salads. The deleted social experiment. Prank invasion. <clears throat> the dangers of social media. Girl virtually assaulted in GTA. Sia Israel. A vlog. It's a vlog. Baby love your body. Allison Gold. DJ Khaled EXE. Kissing so pranks many. the original. DJ Khaled celebrates hold you down. Allison Gold. ABCD EFG. Um, and so many more. It's just older That's stuff. Crazy. But like these are a lot of our main big videos that people are. 71 videos? That's the total at the top? Yeah, 71. I mean, a lot of them are old, probably like 20 or 30 of them are, but these these are our cream of the crop. These are our money earners. I mean, yeah, because they still get views over Mm -hmm. time, so Mm -hmm. that's a big chunk. Well, a lot of the old ones are unlisted. Okay. But the ones I'm showing you are are big earners. No, yeah, those are really... And some of our most viewed videos, so... Yeah. And and they don't tell you. They just, like, just a day ago... I saw just randomly in my email, like five new videos, like of our biggest ones, like mm-hmm. not suitable. It's like okay, it's weird. Why? Yeah, why? Who cares? So shout out to YouTube and to the copyright system for helping to encourage <laughs> creators and to be a very encouraging environment. Now. Since we created this Do You Smell Your Period Blood poll and added an option for I'm a Dude, the results have swung quite a bit yeah. towards yes. Because <laughs> I can see a lot of dudes just being like, no, that's gross. Right. Let me see the results. But the majority is giving us yes in this um, in this scenario here. Mm. <laughs> it's interesting. How do you feel about that, Hila? I'm surprised, but <coughs> after doing this podcast. Not surprised. Not surprised. No. All right, where were we? Um, yada, yada, yada. Oh, fucking God. We got the mail bomber's car. We got a judge chases criminal down. Let me get ASMR. Let me do this ASMR segment because we got GB standing by to give us her opinion. I came across this celebrity ASMR <laughs> playlist. Who who put this together? It was like uh, a huge magazine. Um, oh, it's a W magazine. <laughs> yeah. W. I w never heard. Magazine. What the hell? What do they do? I uh, don't know, actually. What does any magazine do but, in 2018? Right. You make know. YouTube videos. <laughs> yeah. Trying to make viral videos. <laughs> so they have celebrities do ASMR, but I don't really. They have a lot, by the way. Cara, uh, I don't know how to say her name. You guys don't know who she is. Delevingne? De uh, Gal Gadot, Aubrey Plaza, Kate Hudson, Ashley Graham, Emily Ratajkowski, Cardi B, and so many more. Some hike. They're all females, by the way, which kind of supports my theory. There's except like, for Jake Gyllenhaal. Yeah, there's one guy. <laughs> but otherwise, it's all females, which supports my theory. <laughs> That Gibi is going to try to dispute, which is fine, GB, <laughs> um, that this is largely used by s- men that like the com- this virtual companionship of females. And I feel like especially the one with Cardi B, <laughs> when you show it. I'll show I'll that one, yeah. But first I want to show what most of them, this is actually the most viewed one by Cara. It has 5 million views, and I don't think they, well, it's, she's just whispering. Yeah. <laughs> Um, you're really me. What did you say? No, I'm not. Yes, you are. So Fuck you. Let's kill the world. No, I'm not going to. It's so weird whispering. She just... You know, whispering's actually really bad for your throat. Fun fact number one. Um... I don't know. I'm, I'm Cara Delevingne. But I'm she's Cara just whispering. Delevingne. I'm 23. And I don't know why she has two mics. Why does she keep switching mics? It's well, not really ASMR. Yeah. 
They, uh, no, uh, that's a big part of it. It's because it, they're panned hard left and right. And so, like, us in the back right now with the headphones, we're hearing her in one ear and then the other ear. And I think that's, like, that's part of it, yeah. But I think you're supposed to, like, use it for, like... But she's, well, she's no expert. We have an expert on the line. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so in Suicide Squad, I play two um, characters. At any rate, it's this. It's just a, it's just a celebrity whispering, you know. Yeah. Um, but Cardi B, on the other hand, does give it a fair shake. I'm actually impressed. She gets in there. It actually feels that. like she's into it. Yeah. Look at this. <laughs> Dude, my dick is straight up at full half mass right now. <laughs> <laughs> Wonder if she smells her period blood. <laughs> she probably does. Cardi B? Probably. My name is Cardi B. Next time you're approaching a girl that you're interested in, and you're like, God, she's amazing. She's so out of my league. I can't even talk to her. Just remember, most likely she smells her period blood. <laughs> Life tips. Yeah, dude. Just remember she's human. She sniffs her period blood. I'm getting tingles. <laughs> I like the hand gestures. <laughs> she's got her hand out and she's kind of claw, like scratching my back or something virtually, right? <laughs> Dude, she's so into it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Fucking stroke it. No, don't you think it's kind of weird with the mics and the... Oh, she's dual welding. She's fucking... Oh, God. <laughs> She's taken both of them at once. I saw it and I was like, what the fuck? Dude, I am tingling in all the right places. Things is very strange and weird. But she is actually doing it, I feel like. She is, but... Every single day okay, well, I want to know what, what GB thinks about... <laughs> yeah, so I think we've properly set it up, so let's get the expert on the line. GB ASMR. Um is with us here today. GB, how are you? God bless you. Thanks for joining us. Hi, Ethan. Hey. Hi. Nice to yeah, meet thanks you. thanks for having me call in. <laughs> Th thanks for joining us here today as our resident ASMR expert. Now, your channel is quite big, and it is very popular. You're very good at what you do, apparently. And so... Thank you. <laughs> first of all, I have to ask you, do you smell your period blood? We were just talking about that in the room uh, because we were watching the beginning of the podcast here. It, it, I'm glad like you, you have a preference it. to that. That would have come off really weird <laughs> if you didn't know what I was talking about. <laughs> we were saying that, like, that's the, that's the consensus is you don't really have a choice. Right. But the question really, well, okay, let's, we, don't, we, don't, we don't need to dive too deep into <laughs> that. But you, you, you smell it against your will seems to be your answer. Mm-hmm. So you okay, find it gross? No. <laughs> Wait, she said no. She doesn't no. find it gross. No, it's not pleasant. I would not. I would oh, not smell okay. it uh, <laughs> voluntarily. Okay, excellent. Good. I'm glad we got to the bottom of that. Now, what did you think mm -hmm. about these celebrity um, ASMR segments that I just shared? If you were watching those. Yeah, I've actually seen those. So the W, it's, it's, it's a women's magazine, so that's oh, probably that, why. Okay, that is oh, that. Okay, fair magazine. enough. Fair yeah. enough. There you okay. go. <laughs> um, but yeah, it, it's actually really cool to see celebrities doing ASMR because, you know, just a couple years ago, it's something that no one was talking about or had, had heard of. Like, I've been watching it for like eight years mm. on YouTube. And so, um, so I know my channel's only like two years old, but I've been watching it forever. And like, I was always embarrassed to talk about it mm. because... When you come in on it at first, you're like, this, this is kind of weird, like, objectively. Hmm. Um, but when you see people like Cardi B, like, doing ASMR, it's it's less weird. So they're sort of mm. making it more normal, mm. I suppose. Definitely. And so what is it that I got wrong or what did I miss in my original segment about ASMR videos? Because to me, I think people, I, I, yeah. I've, I've previously spoken that it, it does seem to be... Like, the popular ASMR channels are ones of cute, you know, cute young girls. Not not young, not young, young. You know what I Just mean. Young ladies. Yeah. Attractive. Right? Attractive young ladies. And um, it seems, uh, you know, as a guy, it's a nice kind of way to get a companionship and relax. And you have kind of a way of spending time, intimate time, with a girl. Do you contradict that? I don't think you're wrong. Okay. I don't think that's everything though <clears throat> okay um 
I think mo- like most people who have never seen it before, they jump in on it and they're like, oh, this must be a sex thing. Hmm. Um, and while you can absolutely find ASMR videos with sexual overtones, you can find sexual anything. You know, people will always utilize that to get views or, you know, to gain popularity sure. quickly, or maybe it's, that's just how they like to do it. Um, but ASMR itself, like I keep asking people like over and over again, I'm like, so why do you watch it? Why do you watch it? And just like the overwhelming response is just people need to de-stress, you know, like mm. they need to mm. relax and it's free and it's accessible. Mm. Um, and more people enjoy ASMR like, like nightly, like they just want to sleep, I think. <laughs> um, but I, I have heard and I, and even myself, like I've used ASMR when you feel like lonely mm. and you just want somebody talking for a while on a video. But I mean, you could do that with any YouTube video. Yeah, but there's this That's kind true. of the whispering, you know, this, uh, there's a sense of intimacy and like the ticking mm-hmm. and all this stuff. You know, it's, it's, it's you know, you know. Wh- so what is a popular misconception about ASMR that people get wrong that you want to correct? That it's not just well, it's sexual? Well, interesting because you said, you said intimacy. Because I think that we can ag- all agree that it, it's intimate. Yes. Um, but I would say like it's more intimate in the way that like, like when your mom like puts you to bed and she's like rubbing your back and singing you a song, like you wouldn't let a stranger do that to you, but it's not sexual. Um, and so I think like when somebody gets close, I think to you, for you it's not sexual, but ear, I think yeah. I think for a lot of guys it might be. <laughs> I do think, have like the I do, but I I, problem. I agree that <laughs> some people um, have a problem. Yeah, I agree that it's not only sexual though, but I know like with Ian the intern, <laughs> it is that de- like. <laughs> 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 no, I don't want to embarrass Ian too much about it, but uh, he Ian is a fan of yours. Yeah. <laughs> he was just watching you the other day, right, Ian? I'm honored. Ian? I think he's too shy. Ian's too embarrassed too to get on the mic, huh? <laughs> well, um, let's move on then. He'll build up the courage as we continue but, to talk. So how do you feel about this one with Cardi B? It is very sexual. The mics are like... Dude, she was phallic. I don't know how do she you was giving a double blowjob. As far <laughs> I as think I those are, that's an unfortunate microphone shape. <laughs> but she was like, that's God, unfortunate. Damn. But she she listens to ASMR a lot, and like we've we've known that before. Like she's yeah, tweeted she's about surprised. it, she's talked about it, and you can tell. Yeah, yeah that's you cool. can tell because you can tell when somebody's actually seen it before and they get it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, like it's hard to explain why. Like I know she gets it, but she does. No, she, no, you she, can she tell got me good with those. Love that. <laughs> um, do you know what's your demographic between male and female on your analytics? Mm-hmm. Um, 60% male and 40% female. Interesting. Pretty good spread. Yeah, Pretty it's good. not as skewed as you would think, right? Yeah. My male skews way more than that. <laughs> I've got like 85% male. <laughs> and mm, I'm maybe not. people are watching your videos for a you know, different reason. <laughs> Intimacy, baby. <laughs> <Then> you think? <laughs> um... <laughs> Do you ever get any creepy emails or tweets from guys that get like? There's got to be some guys that get like overly attached with you, right? Probably a fringe, I'm sure. But Absolutely. Like, so, have, yeah. what's the craziest shit you've seen? There have been a couple people where I had to, like, get police involved. Woo. Um, wow. People are unable to sort of separate the distinction of like, I'm speaking to an audience and not to you specifically. Mm. Um. I know a lot of people have had that issue. Not, it's a lot of like personalities and you know people who talk to their audience and stuff like that. But uh, I had this one person who sent me like tens of thousands of messages before I even saw it. Wow! But where where did they send talking them? Talking as if I was responding to him. <laughs> oh my goodness! That must have freaked you out when you first saw it. It was very freaky. Where did what, what uh, platform were the messages sent on? It was Facebook Messenger. Ooh. Mm. Yeah. Damn. Like a friend? Like they were a Facebook mm. friend? Well, I had a page for GBA oh, okay, SMR. Okay. And uh, people could just send messages to it, but I wouldn't get notified. <laughs> um, wow. Hazards of, of mm. the job. Now, finally, <laughs> I want to say, again, Ian is a big fan of you. Um <laughs> He's, I mean, I don't know if you're familiar with Ian. He's a big, important part of the show, and he's a really cool guy. We like him a lot. Ian, <laughs> would you like to say anything to uh, GB here since we've got her on the phone? I know you're a fan. 
Seriously, Ian? Wait, he was just talking. <laughs> but the good work. Great. I can't hear you. We can't hear you. Can they hear you? Can everybody? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He said keep up okay. the great work. And Ian, <laughs> and also, Thank you, Ian. <laughs> and also, Ian was wondering if you're single. <laughs> I'm not. I'm so sorry to burst that, uh, burst that bubble. <laughs> sorry, Ian. Well, we appreciate you. We, uh, I appreciate, you know, getting on the phone and talking with us. Um, and yeah. bring yeah, some clarity because it is interesting. It's wild. It's a, it's weird. Like like you acknowledge from the outside, Definitely. it's it's strange. But I have to tell mm-hmm. you that <laughs> I do when I put it on, you know. You do kind of enjoy. It, it is nice. It is nice. You know. Oh, I yeah. wanted to ask. Is, I was going to say you said you liked it. Yeah. Yeah, I do kind of like. Yeah, it. Yeah, and is there? A, do you know if like there's a the opposite kind of people who hate whispering? Mm. Yes, because I think that's like misophonia. I think that's you. <laughs> so there's two type of people in the world. It's people you, who because some people, you know, like you you hear the sounds and you get like the tingly feeling, and it's like, oh, this is really nice. Some people hear the sounds and they're like, I want to die. Mm. Exactly. Like <laughs> that's me. Yeah. <laughs> you either smell period yeah, blood or you don't. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Well, what what do you? <laughs> not, I'm you know I'm not that I feel like I want to die when I see your channel. <laughs> not yeah. at all. But. Just but I get my, it though. Sometimes my like, initial those reaction sounds will just trigger. Like, yeah, when I think of someone whispering, is not pleasant. Sure. <laughs> um, I don't necessarily feel tingles, but I do feel kind of like a lightness and a mm. pleasant sensation. You know, it's um, like extra relaxation. Yeah, it's nice. It is nice. Eli, are you going to do some yeah. ASMR for me tonight? <laughs> I can't. <Damn. laughs> do you ever do a one like for your boyfriend? Would you ever do like a one person ASMR sesh? He doesn't get ASMR. It's oh, like doesn't... super unfortunate. Ian does. Oh. <laughs> Poor Ian. <laughs> it's like beat red out here. <laughs> <laughs> well, I feel like um, that's kind of ironic, I guess, and, and unfortunate that your boyfriend doesn't experience ASMR. I feel like that's he's got an expert for a girlfriend. Really could have been something there. Yeah, yeah. there could have been something great there. Well, but it would be interesting to do like a one person ASMR show where like. You could actually like it's almost like a massage in a way. Oh. Like if you have like an ASMR mm-hmm. therapy, right? That's interesting. Why not? Yeah, that yeah. niche is growing. It exists already. It exists, oh. huh? Oh. Yeah, there's Would... an ASMR spa that keeps popping up. There's some Whoa. in the UK and then some in New York. It's called like the Whisper Lodge, I think. Wow, how about Whoa. that? Yeah, yeah. So people are really exploring with it now mm. and experimenting and doing live shows and things like that. Do you think it will ever become mainstream, or is it going to be something that's always hard to explain to people? It's uh, Compare it to a couple of years ago, like, it is crazy mainstream now mm-hmm. compared oh. to. Definitely. So I think it's really only going up I mean, because every time it sort of comes up in the media, we get more people in the community who are like, oh, my God, wait, this is really relaxing. Mm. <laughs> yeah, right, we've, right, right. we've even <laughs> seen, like, Howard Stern talk about it. Um Mm-hmm. You get all this celebrity doing it. It's like yeah, that's as true. mainstream as it gets now. Yeah. I wonder if there was anything yeah. like ASMR that was so weird, but now is like or seemed so weird, but is now fully accepted by everyone. Right. A lot mm-hmm. of people didn't get like Twitch when it came out, like gaming, like mm-hmm. live stream. They're like, why would you want to watch somebody play video games? You just, we you just know? saw so Jimmy Kimmel yeah. make that joke, and we were like, ugh. Yeah, we're really? so out of touch. I mean, like that's so old. That's so no, dated. I, yeah, I, right. I know. Just I last always, night. Yeah. yeah. All wow. right. Oh well, my God, um, that's so weird. <laughs> we have we have got G B A S M R G I B I A S M R. Check her out. She is yeah. the best in the game. Um, I've oh. listened. It's I get. I feel it's nice. It's relaxing. <laughs> Ian's a huge, huge fan, and um, we wish you all the very best. Yeah. And uh, thank you, both. and a blessed weekend as well <laughs> to you. So thank you for joining. Thank us. you, you too. I thank hope you, you feel better soon, Ethan. All right, thank you. <laughs> Take care. Appreciate it. All right, you. bye. All right, that was GB uh, ASMR, and so we learned a lot from GB, didn't we? Yeah. It was interesting that she acknowledged that it is, because I thought she was refuting that it's like it is not sexual. But, or not sexual, but like intimate, or like like a lot of guys are like like the intimacy, mm-hmm. not sexual, but like intimate. But she did acknowledge that it's that, and it's more, which I think I agree. Yeah. But um, she's a professional, you know. Yeah. So there you go. There you have it. <laughs> GB ASMR. All right, Ian. How was that for you? 
Ian. Ian's mad at me. I'm like his parent. That was incredibly Ian, I can't well, I can't hear him through the speaker. Here. Oh, there you go. Yeah, that was incredibly embarrassing. <laughs> and I was trying to talk, it wasn't working. Oh, that didn't help. Okay. <laughs> but you do help. find her attractive, right, Ian? I think she's very talented at what she does and great. Work. Such a diplomat. <laughs> no, Ian likes her. It's okay though. But she does have a boyfriend, Ian, so we yeah, do relax, apologize Ian. for Come that. On. Take it easy. <laughs> um, she's cool. Yeah. Moving on. It makes me wish that I enjoyed it. I feel like I'm missing out. <laughs> Have you tried though? You know. I just know that I don't like. Because I actually the... I gave it like a good shot for five or ten minutes, and I it was very pleasant. It was nice. Mm-hmm. And then because like I was watching like a cute girl, and I was like, okay, <clears throat> I'm gonna find a dude. Yeah. And I and there's this one I showed it right, on a previous like a guy. gnarly bearded dude, and he's. <laughs> like insane like he's all over the place and that guy is like a king Mm -hmm. so i wanted to be like all right it's not about that but yeah that guy was was just as good Mm -hmm. but also you're not really supposed to watch it you're supposed to just listen right put it in the background yeah let's be frank being cute helps you in any field that's true if i was more handsome you think that i wouldn't have 20 million subscribers (laughs) If I wasn't more handsome, you think that Pewdie- <laughs> that I wouldn't have more subscribers than PewDiePie? He's <laughs> handsome. That's why he has sixty million. Or yeah. all the, I mean, it, well, it's well known, like with actors. Be attractive. They say the first rule of dating: be attractive. <laughs> Second rule of dating: don't be unattractive. Third rule: ask them if they smell their period. Yeah. Blood. Third rule: sniff the period blood. The sniff test, as it's called. <laughs> Why wasn't there a Seinfeld about period blood? Duh. It's, it keeps the show going now. up. You're slipping. Actually, well, the difference <laughs> is about the same. But 18% yes, 14% no. Yeah. 68% I'm a dude. <laughs> I love that. I love that addition. <laughs> Amazing. I love it. Um, all right, moving on. Elon Musk is a weeb. This is an incredible story that you know, needs to be shared with the world. He was banned recently for t- from Twitter because he was shit posting so hard that Twitter was sure he was hacked. His security was <laughs> compromised, and they said, "There's no way these are genuine tweets. We need to shut this down." They were real <laughs> tweets. Okay, so let's see what was it that got him banned. He first begins with "I heart anime," four hundred fifty thousand likes. I own a chibi Wolverine. Now, by the way, how did you feel about it? Because you're you love anime and love you're anime. a fan of villain. I love anime. So do you love him in a mo- even more now? Well, he's just shit posting. <laughs> I don't do you, know. Do you like him less? No, I don't like him less. I just think, I just don't know what. What's with the tweeting? I just don't really <laughs> get him. Like, like he's. It's like he's going I just don't know why he's trying to be like an edge lord, all of a sudden. It's like a midlife crisis, maybe. It's like, dude, you're the coolest, fucking greatest dude ever. You don't need to shit post on. You don't Twitter. need to try. Yeah, you don't need to try. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't make me like. I think it's funny. I think I think that I I like him just as much as I ever did. I love Elon Musk. <laughs> um, I support him and his companies hundred percent, and I always will. I just don't know what. You know, it's just a little unnecessary, maybe, but, you know. And then he tweets his favorite anime, Love Your Name. I haven't actually seen this one, but apparently it's like a drama. I don't really like, um... Snooze Fest. I don't really like anime dramas. I like... I like... I like, like, action animes. Mm -hmm. Because for me, it's... I like the fantasy aspect. I like the magic. I like the power. That's what I... I don't need to watch drama anime. I can watch drama in any form. Mm-hmm. Cartoons is not real. That's why you get sick ass fucking magic and powers. Because you can't actually do that in real life. Skip. <laughs> um, so, axe that one. Elon calls himself Elon Chan. <laughs> Elon Musk is a weeb and he res- responds, ahem, Elon Chan. <laughs> what? I mean, uh. what? Like, where is he <laughs> picking up this terminology? 
What I mean, he just trolls Reddit all day. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Well, like, what form is he spending? Because the problem that that makes me concerned is the people that talk with these kinds of memes, people who like joke around like this, are not the people that I want getting inside Elon Musk's beautiful pristine brain. <laughs> right? <laughs> like, I don't want him spending time on 4chan. Yeah. Or anime subreddits. <laughs> That's maybe that's what it concerns me. <laughs> yeah. It's more what it means that what he's why does he know all this stuff? Like you can what you can, I like anime, but I'm not. You're not doing it. Not a week. And it anime. would be more fine for me, by the way, than yeah. Elon Musk. We need his brain to be in good, clean, pristine, beautiful shape. <laughs> not ahem, Elon Chan. Like wherever he learned that, I don't want him there. <laughs> and I'm not Elon Genesis Evangelion. That's amazing. And I'm not. <laughs> what'd you say? I just noticed the the <laughs> meme that I, I don't know if he posted or somebody else below, but what? It said Some Elon. Meme below. Yeah, it said uh, uh, it was Should like I an Evangelion it? meme. It's whatever. Okay, thank you, Dan. <laughs> oh, this. I don't know the or the origins of this one. It's just a pun off of a famous anime. Um, so Elon continues, hey, what's going on with two-factor for Tesla account? Which is weird because it's actually like a business-related question, although it's not directed to the right place. So justifiably, he says, you want to buy some Bitcoin? <laughs> Which I think was probably when Twitter was like, this shit's weird. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Again, Elon, I don't know where you, what's going on. What forums you're browsing? <laughs> we got to keep your brain beautiful and uninfected. And I'm not criticizing the people that do spend their times on that forum. I'm just saying some people we need to protect. <laughs> Elon Musk is one of those people. You know, I'm a cat girl. What is this shit? It keeps getting weirder every time I click here. Okay. <laughs> Show us your Bowsette cosplay. He says actually. I'm actually cat girl. Here's a selfie right now. Okay? Now, your Twitter right now, what's your call? Suspend or keep open? Exactly. <laughs> I can see you where suspend. they came from. <laughs> Twitter ends up spending his, uh, suspending his account because he assumed he was hacked. And then, finally, we end on... Um, send me your dankest memes, he tweeted. What the fuck? And then PewDiePie said, meme review when he said midnight. I don't think that happened. <laughs> Elon Musk, there you go. <laughs> what a world. What a world we live in. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? My God. But I will say on the on the uh on a beautiful positive note of Elon's. Yeah. Tesla, the the most exciting, progressive, um, risk taking future forward company that this world has seen in so long tesla the automaker of electric cars has finally become they 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 have blasted the expectation everyone was expecting them to lose 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 money they were expected to lose 19 cents per share their quarterly earnings came in it went up $2.90 per share they made a profit for the first time ever Smash expectation. Model 3 has become the best-selling car in the United States in terms of revenue mm -hmm. and the fifth best-selling car in terms of volume. The most revenue, best-selling car in the United States. Unbelievable, the Model 3. These guys, I love Tesla. I love everything they're doing, I'm so happy that they're um, making it and they're making money and they're turning a profit. That's pretty amazing. I mean, especially here in L.A., you see it everywhere now. Everywhere, dude. Brand mm -hmm. new Model 3s everywhere. I have a lease on a S, and it's up in a year, and I'm going to, I think I'm going to get a Model 3. But I find it so amazing that as a company, they released the Model 3 with same features, even better, and for a lower price. <coughs> the thing is, the Model it's 3, like... the performance version of the Model 3 is way less than the Model S that I have, and it's faster, has a longer, and a longer battery life. Which are the two things I care the most about. Mm -hmm. It's a little smaller, but I don't really give a fuck. Most people And it's don't. more modern, it's more futuristic. That's why it's gonna be so huge. So, like, 
the model the model three performance this is like the craziest version you can get is like seventy thousand dollars i know that probably sounds like a lot to most of you but comparable cars that go that speed could be like 10 but, times that price yeah yeah mm -hmm. like a model three goes zero to 60 and like um like three seconds the closest thing to that is like crazy, like Porsches and Maseratis and shit. They're, you're looking at two, three hundred thousand plus mm -hmm. dollars, seventy thousand bucks, and it's got like three hundred and twenty miles per charge. But then it's just it has so much more, and this is not a commercial. <laughs> no, I, everyone knows but, that I actually yeah. love Tesla. They don't need to pay for anyone. But it's about just them. they're so it. far past everything else because the auto drive <laughs> so is useful. so useful, and then it's fully electric. But the real, the real thing, the real genius too, is the infrastructure they built. There's and so that. many superchargers now that you can actually go on a long distance drive, which we've done many times, and charge your car fast mm -hmm. and reliably. Is that, is that the case outside of California? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. Can, just anywhere. You can drive you cross can do, country. Yeah. Huh. You can do a road trip. That is really impressive. I mean, that's the main, <coughs> that's the main hurdle that everybody. We drove to. You could drive cross country um, for a long time. We drove to Vegas. And they're adding more and more every, you know, all the time. But uh, yeah, lots of people drive cross country in their Teslas now. It's wild. It's really cool. Um, so that's cool. And uh, and anyway, I will be sending my dankest memes to Elon Musk <laughs> to congratulate him on his excellent performance. So, um, what else we got here? I got a lot of videos, but I'm so freaking owned. <laughs> I my throat is so fucked. I, I wasn't didn't. even sure how you were gonna do this. I wasn't sure either because when yeah. we first started this, I was like delirious. <laughs> I was saying something to Ela. She's like, I don't even understand what you're telling me right now. And I was like, all right, well, let's go live. <laughs> Hope you were comfortable talking today because I can't. That is true. It really happened. My throat really hurts, though. I probably shouldn't talk that much because it's not going to help. Spending 14 hours at Disney yesterday was not helpful, but we were planning that trip for a year, so I would be goddamn <laughs> if I wasn't going. Um, let me see. I'll save this stuff for next week, but let me see. If and we... hopefully, uh, maybe we can get Tom and Christina next week. Oh, yeah, that would be great. But we will great, definitely cause... reschedule, because I saw some people worry. I hope we can do it next week, because I have so many great videos I want to watch with them. Mm -hmm. um, I've got questions, but a lot of them are videos. Um, the period blood we talked about, obviously. Congratulations. What is this one? Wiping technique. This guy said this was funny. From that, by the way, questions, videos, suggestions, anything, send them to podcast at h three h three productions dot com. Love to hear from you guys. This one comes from Andrew Bentley. <coughs> he said he learned about the wiping technique and he tried it out, but unfortunately, on my third try with front wiping, it ended in such tragedy I'd revert back to back wiping. <laughs> While I was trying to utilize the scoop technique um my t my wrist accidentally made contact with poo poo pee water what and needless to say it solidified how? my trust in the trad and chin method of back wiping how do you get he says unfortunately i have to conclude ethan's wiping <laughs> method is too dangerous seconded well what the f well dude how deep are you wiping? Yeah. Like, the, the, when I, I'm not, when I say you have to lift your balls, I'm not kidding, dude. Do you have to, like, lean back, though? No. Ian, do you cup your balls when you wipe for, uh, back to front? Um, a little. You don't, but you grab, I mean, you have to, like, grab your dick and balls, right, in one hand. You can go around. Ian doesn't like talking about this stuff. <laughs> well, the way I do it is I lift my junk with one hand, I stretch it up. And I, I don't dunk into the toilet, that's for sure. I mean, yeah, obviously, keep your hand out of the toilet bowl, dude. <laughs> I mean, my God. Dude, the mechanic, we need, we need to, like, get a life-size mannequin and, like, have, like, a full-on no, demonstration. You don't, you don't need a mannequin. I'll show you right now. <laughs> you bring this up, and you just, you scoop right under it, like that. You got your leg up right now, though. See, this is one. Oh, Ian, Ian objects. He's actually, he's got a different technique. You want to come show us, Ian? <laughs> come show us. Ian, come in here. 
Is he coming? Good. Oh God, you're sp- <laughs> Ian. You're being so lame. Come show us how you wipe your ass. <laughs> Come on, dude. Get in here. Wider legs and then side around. You go directly under. Wait, what? How do you go? You go, you go under the balls. Yes. So I he goes from spread the, side. the legs wider and go around. Around. He goes around the mountain. Like from here. <laughs> well, sure. <laughs> yeah, come show us. Come on, I'm genuinely curious. This is the science episode. <laughs> he's shaking his head. No, he's he's way too embarrassed. I'm not blaming you. I well, hold on. Okay, well at least let I me wipe. understand because now I'm intrigued. You go from like this. No, you no. go from the front. So you come like from like this, Ian. <laughs> I can't see. I think if I had to guess, he like opens his leg more. Oh, you open your wet leg super wide. I'm saying a wide. wider leg. Yeah. Like super wide. Right, yeah. right, right, right. <laughs> and you don't go under him. You go around Wait, him. You, you <laughs> sit like super well, wide. Well, you got legs. homework to do. Now. Wait, hold on. Do you shit with your legs that wide? <laughs> <laughs> Ian? That's a wide stance you got. I don't go that wide. Huh. <laughs> Oh, I'll so, just oh, so oh, oh, I understand. So you scoop it, your dick and balls to like the left, because I put them up against my gut, and you <laughs> wait, scoop whoa, it to the wait, left. Wait, what? I'm trying to understand you because you're not coming in here and showing Stand me. Up and All right, I'm tired of playing Pictionary with you. The solidarity you're... between the front wipers is is cracking. Ian, <laughs> you're the worst uh, Pictionary partner I've ever had. <laughs> Switching to back after this. <laughs> oh, All right, well, got a conversion. Ian's mad at me today. I embarrassed him a little bit. <laughs> but um, her boyfriend doesn't even feel ASMR, Ian, so there is a chance, and I think I did lay a seed. <laughs> he was shaking her head. Very disappointed. What the f- what the <laughs> I'm hell? not disappointed. <laughs> All right, what else we got? So that's about it. I have a lot of other submissions, but I think I'll save it with the hopeful, hopeful that Tom and Christina will come next week. So, again, a somewhat um, light episode. I am very sick. I should stop talking immediately and get in bed. You, I, you are a champion for powering <laughs> through this. When you the walked show. in today, <laughs> I took one look at you and was like, fuck, that dude is, should be in bed right now. Thank That's you for good. saying that, Dan. The show must go on. <laughs> you know, the show must go on. <laughs> and, I'm, and I appreciate everybody who tuned in on this blessed Mm-hmm. Blessed Friday, and I appreciate all the boys in back who I want to always express my appreciation to Dan, the producer, Ian, the intern, Zach, the sound boy. <laughs> Love them all. They all work so hard to make this show great, and, uh, you know, cheers to them. And I mm-hmm. hope that Ian, with um, his new, I think there's a, I think there was a spark between him and GB. <laughs> I really do. So I'm looking forward to see how that develops. And a uh, blessed, blessed weekend. It's Friday, my dudes. Yeah. It's a beautiful thing. Hell yeah. Enjoy your weekend. And of course, huge appreciation to all you Gazi boys who come and spend your day with us. I hope I've entertained you. I hope you've laughed. I hope you've thought. <laughs> I did not intend to make you cry. So I hope you didn't cry. But if you did... I don't know why. It wasn't my fault, Tears probably. of joy. Tears of joy from <laughs> laughing so hard and enjoying yourself <laughs> so much. All right. Make sure to burp. Yeah. Regular. Hit me with it, Zach. Here it comes. Here it comes. Really? Damn. <laughs> <laughs> Can you crank it? Can you crank it? <laughs> 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 that was such a great video. Oh God, Discovery is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, have a blessed weekend, and we shall see you next week right here on your favorite podcast. Is the music playing? Oh, yeah. Your favorite podcast, <laughs> the H3 podcast, the only place where we do science. And we take polls, and we're getting to the bottom of it. Real science. Real science. Real people. (laughs) I've said it all. 
Is that oh. it? I think, I think that's it. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye.